right here is the $650 carbon fiber travel tripod from Peak Design. And this right here is the $370 carbon fiber travel tripod from Ulanzi. Now, we're gonna compare these today, but let me just start this video for all of those of you that are gonna run to the comments. I realize that this tripod is heavily, if not wholly inspired by the success of this tripod. But what I'm gonna show you today is that for $370, they made this tripod better in almost every single way. Let me explain. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. We're gonna chat about them a little bit later in the video. Okay, let's just jump straight into these two tripods and because they are travel tripods, let's just talk about their size and their weight. Now, their size, the, the peak design says that it is 15.2 inches tall and this guy says it's 15.74 inches tall which that's only like a half inch difference but when I put them next to each other that's more than half an inch isn't it that's like a full inch the peak design is a full inch shorter than than the Ulanzi one point one point for peak design now remember that moment because it might be the last time in this video that the peak design gets a point was fibbing. The Peak Design's like almost 15 and a half. If you count this little nubbin right here, it's like 15 and three quarters. And this guy is 16 and a half. So they both lied. <laughs> uh, spec sheets. And for their maximum height, they are almost identical with the Ulanzi saying that it is it's about a 1.7 inches taller, it says. I will say, when the legs are extended like this, the, the Ulanzi feels a lot more stable. Peak Design legs feel a little wibbly wobbly. There's a reason every tripod forever has had circular tubular legs. Yeah, same thing. I'm gonna say that's not, no, nah, that might be two inches. Yeah, let's say it's two inches, 1.7 inches. But I'm, I'm gonna say that's basically negligible. Uh, 1.7 inches. These are, these are both about 60 inch tripods. This guy says it's 61.7 inches. But if you are gonna get technical, uh, one point Ulanzi. So right now we got a tie ball game. One point Peak Design, one point Ulanzi. This one gets a little shorter when it's compact and this one gets a little longer when it's fully extended. But a, a major point of concern for a travel tripod is weight. And Peak Design did a great job with this. They come in at 2.81 pounds for this entire tripod. Very impressive. But like I said, this guy beats it in almost every way and weight is another one of those ways. This is 2.2 pounds. And while that doesn't sound like a huge difference, 0.6 of a pound, uh, you can definitely feel the, di if you just hold them both side by side, you can definitely feel the difference. I think if you just held them like, if you just held them individually, you probably wouldn't. Ah, that feels lighter. It does. Both tripods have Flip lock legs, which I do really like. I used to really like twist lock, but I don't know. I've changed my mind. This thing actually changed my mind that I now like flip locks. I can I can take all five sections, which is four levers. This is one section, then there's four more sections, and I can just flick it open, pull it out, and uh, flip each one down. Now the like super fast way to deploy it, which I see the guys on the Peak Design website do is they go something like they keep it collapsed they open all the legs at once so they're all open and then they let the whole thing come out like so and then at each section they kind of just roll their hand around it roll their hand around it that works and the peak design tripod it does it does set up quite quick they say on their website that someone did it in 10 seconds i don't know how but they did. Same thing, five sections. I could just kind of extend them all out, all the way. And then same thing, just kind of roll around. And same thing for the five section legs, both tripods very quick to set up. On the Peak Design, the legs are not tubular like a, like a normal tripod. They kind of did this, this design here where the legs are almost like, what shape is that called? One, two, three, hexagon. It's like a hexagon and they squished it. And the idea was that there's a, a triangular center column and each of the three legs kind of really folds in. It creates, it does create a really kind of sleek tripod. And that's why this tripod has been so popular. Super lightweight, super small, extends like crazy, and it's a it's a good solid tripod. But on the Olanzi, they, they stuck with tubular legs and even the tube, they just feel stiffer or like they feel stronger and more secure for some reason. And in each position along the way, 
I think the Ulanzi just feels stronger because it has tubular legs. Or at least that's my guess of why it feels stronger. It just does feel stronger. And when I look at the two, I go, uh, maybe it's the leg design. But both flip lock legs, both five sections. Uh, there is one big difference though, is the peak design legs can go from closed position to, to open position one, or you can kind of pull this little latch and it can go up to position number two, which is like really super, super flat. That's how you get the, the tripod really low to the ground. Whereas the Ulanzi legs can go from closed position to position one, to position two, to position three. So three positions that it can go, one, two, three, whereas the Peak Design can only do two. So when it comes to the legs, uh, another point to Ulanzi. Oh, also on the, the bottom of the legs, the Ulanzi feet are just screw off feet. So rubber feet, and then you can screw them off. And in the box, they do come with, so those are the rubber feet that, it, that are on there. And then you can you can put on these little spiky bits if if you're a photographer that likes spike feet. And that just that just comes in the box, which is really nice because on the peak design you've got to use see that you got to use a wrench to get the feet off, and then you got to pay thirty dollars to buy spike feet for this. So if you want a spike foot tripod, uh, this guy is going to cost you six eighty, while this guy costs you three seventy. Next up though, I think, I think the most important part of a tripod or of the usage of a tripod is the ball head design. And these two ball heads are very, very different. Before we get to ball heads though, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. I've been a professional photographer for 14 years. And if there's anything that I would tell a new photographer or videographer, it is to get your website on point. Throughout my career, my website has been that thing that's, that's the first impression for a new client. And for nine of those 14 years, I have used Squarespace to give that first impression. It is incredibly simple to set up. If you guys know how to open folders on your computers and upload photos, you, you know how to make a Squarespace website. It's all drag and drop. And because it's so simple, that means that you can keep your website up to date with new content, changing out things, making small adjustments all on your own. You don't have to go call a web designer or anything like that. Deal with code. It is super, super simple. I've obviously been a fan of Squarespace for a very long time. And if you are interested in setting up your website, click the link below, get in there for a totally free trial. And when you're ready to go live, use code Manning for 10% off at checkout. Yeah, Squarespace, Squarespace is dope. Okay, let's get back to the ball head design. And let me, let me just start by saying this has been like my daily tripod for a while now. Maybe, maybe six months or so I've been using this. Look here, check that. I haven't put my name on it. <laughs> and I will say right off the bat, I hate this ball head. I know they were they were trying to go clever with the ball head. They were trying to make this whole thing very compact and very tight. Even how this kind of undoes the, the ball head really like latches into the notches of the tripod. So that does also mean though that in this position, you, you can't tilt the tripod at all. You have to raise the center column a little bit before you can get any sort of tilt on the tripod. But while while this is a clever way to make a tripod, even the way that it, it locks in place is super, super frustrating. Okay, so to lock it in place, we got this little spin ring here. You grab this tab, you spin it over, now it's unlocked. You can put it in, there's a little, little clippy bit right there. And now I push this bit over and I lock it in place. Can you see? Can you see where that bit ends up? It ends up underneath my camera. So that means it's locked in place, but when it's time to unlock it, it is in. Oh my gosh, I hate this thing. So usually I swing it this way and I kind of jam my thumb up in here and try to, <sighs> I think so stupid. So I have to spin this thing around to unlock it and then there's a push button tab and the camera comes out. That's not my only frustration, but let's compare it to the Ulanzi where like a very normal tripod, it has a it has like one of these screwy bits here. So it's Arca Swiss plate, just like the Peak Design, and you just screw it out, you put your camera in there and you screw it in nice and tight. So no, there's no like full on locking method that works on it like the Peak Design, but I get it on there, I screw it on nice and tight, and I'm, I'm locked down. And when it's time to get my camera off, I just have to unscrew this bit here and my camera comes right off. It is infinitely better than this, than this spinny, locky system. Again, I know the Peak Design is like clever, but sometimes clever isn't always better. I do like clever, but not when it's not better. Okay, let's get back on the Peak Design and look at how do I adjust the tripod. The ball head has like a, a 
ring around the outside and that's how you unlock and lock the tripod. So I kind of twist that ring open and now I can get to a bunch of different angles. And then when I'm in the right angle where I like it, I just kind of ring that whole thing tight. And again, it is very secure. My issue, and I talked about this in the last video where I talked about this tripod, is that you see how there's those three bits right here. One, two, three. Well, they get in the way of this tripod going to any sort of vertical position and then adjusting. So if it's like this and I go into a vertical position this way, I can only go from here to here before it hits. And then I have to lift it up, kind of get around one of the nubbers. So yeah. And the fix for that, if I, if I was here and I got to here and I go, oh, I can't go up anymore is to lock the ball head, unlock, oh geez unlock the plate take it off turn your camera get it back on there lock it back in place and then unlock the ball head again and now now i can get up to that angle and that that's just silly okay let's look at how the alonzi does it so we lock the tripod on in one position and you'll see right off the bat here uh because i have it unlocked I have a pan head on this tripod. So a little nubbin up front, that's how I lock in place the pan, lock it, now it's locked. Unlock that bit right there, and now I can pan the tripod. Why is that so important? If I lift this latch right here, I can raise the center column a little bit, lock it back down, unlatch this front piece. Now this is the ball head latch. Unlatch that and I can I can get to all my different positions. It has two vertical sides, so I can go vertical here, and I can go vertical right here. I like having this latch kind of in the back where, where all my controls are. So I unlatch this thing, I go into a vertical position, and because the tripod ball head has a pan on it, I could go to any position ever. There's no position that this tripod can't get to with me having to take it off the plate and turn the camera and then put, that is so silly. This thing has a pan and it has a swivel ball head. It can go anywhere and see anything when i'm ready i'm in the right spot i just latch this thing in turn the uh, pan so that's all locked off and uh that's way better again like i said at the beginning of this video um the Olanzi is better in almost every single way. The ball head being like the biggest deal, the biggest deal, the biggest issues that I've had rather with this tripod is this damn ball head. And this this ball head is, is a really simple fix for it. Other things to consider with these two tripods is the center column hook. Now on the Peak Design, the center column hook, which again is for either a sandbag or maybe you put your backpack on it just to give the tripod more stability for long time lapses. On the Peak Design, there's a, a very clever little hidden compartment under Underneath the hook, you pull this out and in here is a, it's a phone. It, it's for your phone, but that is perfectly for an Arca Swiss plate. So I can take this, I can put it into the tripod right here and boom, I just converted my, my tripod into a mobile phone tripod. And that is very clever if you use your mobile phone a lot. I, I don't really use my mobile phone very often on a tripod for any reason. What I do use is what is on the Peak Design leg. There's kind of this, it's like, wait, hang on, how am I gonna? There's like this little retaining clip back here and in that little retaining clip, you can you can pop it off the tripod leg or it kind of clips on there. But in there is this guy and this is super useful. This is a little Allen key wrench. So two different size Allen keys it is for the tripod. So to be able to adjust up here, to be able to adjust the locking legs, super, super helpful. The problem on this tripod is that it's a travel tripod. So I'm throwing it in and out of my backpack, in and out of the van. I I am, I'm kind of tossing this thing around a lot and this thing comes out all the time. Surprisingly, this, this piece stays on the leg. I, I haven't ever had that pop off for me, but the retaining bit for this, it fails a lot. So I end up having to like find this on the ground or on the floor of my van. And what would have been really clever for Peak Design to have done, which is exactly what Ulanzi did, was they hid the tool in the center hook. So their center hook just screws out, doesn't have a cool magnetic latch. But check this bad boy out. It has an Allen key on the end and now the hook becomes a tool and it's like a bit driver where this thing flips around and now I can do two different sizes and that is for same thing. This up here and I flip it around and now I can do the latches here. That's way more useful. At least for me, if you if you are a, a mobile friendly or or mobile a lot photographer, um, 
then yeah, no, this makes a lot of sense. This is very, very clever. But if, you, if you're not using your mobile phone a ton, then the tool in the center column is a way more stable and secure place to hold that tool. You be the judge though. Let me know what you think. Which of these two tripods do you like better? I will tell you right off the bat, just because of the ball head, this one will now be my everyday tripod. I, I probably won't use this much, or it'll be like my secondary tripod when I need two tripods. I will definitely bring this, but this, this is what I will be using for all of these videos for everything that I do, because it's better. I know like the company's an American company, but do they make these tripods in the US? If they did, that that might be a big selling point for me. I don't know about $370 versus $650 selling point, but it would be a good positive selling point for Peak Design. Thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and many more videos coming very soon. Go ahead and subscribe. Maybe you be the one to push this channel over the 300,000 subscriber mark. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one that does it or or at least helps it get there all right i'll see you guys soon what i need to do is put my name on this new tripod I -B this is my favorite label maker ever it's one of those that makes like the raised labels that you can you can touch them hang on Oh, geez, roll it out. <laughs> See, it's my it's my name, but it's like you can feel it. You can you can touch it. <laughs> I like that. Get it on here like show. Haha! -ha! That's my tripod. Don't don't try taking my tripod. Oh, it's not sticking very well. Maybe it's because it's tubular, like it should be.